Our next speaker is Andy Pollock. Thank you, Lucille. Well, I am back and I have my camera on, so that's good. So let me make things very clear here. I am in complete agreement with the other people who have been very vocal about not eliminating the Staten Island discount because I have family who live on the West Shore of Staten Island and they heavily rely on that discount when they need to take the Verrazano going into Brooklyn. So please do not eliminate that. Also, please do not raise any tolls on the bridges because my dad is a regular user of the Throgs Neck Bridge. And if you're going to raise his easy pass toll to 641 or 670, that's not good for us because we use that bridge a lot whenever we need to go into New Jersey. So please do not raise tolls. Please do not raise any fares because the last thing anybody needs during this pandemic is to see their fares go up during this crisis. Also, I want to be very clear about the flat fare. I'm looking at this flat fare. I am outraged by it because residents of Nassau County are going to get double crossed going to Stone Fair 4. Basically, what's going on here is, and I'm looking at this math, you're basically charging more for people to go from Manhattan into Stone Fair 4. I will see a benefit if I'm staying in Stone Fair 3, which is my zone, where I go to Auburndale in Jamaica. But what about Stone Fair 4 and Stone Fair 7, where Nassau County is? The other Stone Fairs will see a benefit. So again, I'm going to be very clear. No fare hikes. No toll hikes. Do not eliminate the Staten Island resident discount. But I am in agreement with the single ticket because Omni is coming. Thank you very much. Have a happy holiday.